So I'm going to start by demonstrating the simple two-point anchor with a, an overhand or a figure eight at the focal point. To do this, you typically need at minimum a 120 centimeter sling or a double length sling. Because both the overhand and the figure eight take up a significant amount of cordage at the focal point. That's the simple two point configuration with the figure eight at the cool finch, or at the focal point. Setup is no different with the clove hitch. However, we do need a master beaner. If we clip the master beaner towards the wall, before we flip it, we're gonna grab both strands on the right-hand side of the carabiner, rotate down to make a cross, and then we're gonna clip the carabiner in. Then we can equalize in the direction of pull. Cool thing about the clove hitch anchor is when we take the beaner out now, we don't have any knots to untie. So I like to figure out where my direction of load is going to be and adjust the sling in that direction. Clip my carabiner across facing the wall. Grab with my left hand on the right hand side of the carabiner both strands with my thumb up. Flip my thumb down and clip the carabiner into the loop that I've just created. And one more time. So there are a number of advantages to the clove hitch anchor configuration. The first is that even in a fall factor two scenario, it won't break without the rope in the system. It's the only anchor that anchor configuration that when DMM did their tests that did not break without a climbing rope in the system. So that for me is really important because I like using Dyneema slings in the Alpine because they're light and fast. Another reason why this anchor configuration is so cool is because once you learn how to tie the clove hitch in this configuration, it's really fast to put it in even with gloves on. The last reason is it comes apart really easily even after a day of ice climbing where the rope has or where the anchor has been in the water it's frozen all you have to do is remove your uh, carabiner and the hitch is gone what i found is that if we have modern bolt systems where the bolts are within 20 centimeters i don't even need my 120 centimeter my double length sling anymore i can build a really simple anchor with a single shoulder length alpine draw So if I'm going to use the clove hitch anchor in a top roping application, I'm going to add a few more clove hitches and I'm going to add an extra beaner at the focal point. Before I tighten this clove hitch up now, I'm going to take out a second locker and I'm going to clip it in the opposite way so we end up with two beaners opposite and opposed. We put our top rope through the anchor here. The reason we like to have two beaners at the focal point is because we're not up at the anchor watching these carabiners all day long. So it's good to have two. With the clove hitch here, it prevents the beaners from rotating and from the carabiners getting into a crossload application. We're gonna do the same thing up here at the anchor now. Add a clove hitch here and add a clove hitch here. And that way, the carabiners up at uh, the bolts, they can't rotate either. So this is a great secure way to build a simple top rope anchor 
And at the end of the day, after everything has been weighted and we've been climbing on it for hours, it's still really easy to uh, take out the carabiners. not have any knots left in the rope or left in the sling.